Hi, it's Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands here. How you doing everybody? Welcome. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Today we're going to be playing with hearts and flowers. So, pretty. The first little technique I want to show you is just a bit off the cuff one. Is if you have two hearts cut out and you cut part way up on the bottom of one and part way down on the top of the second what you can do is you can slot them in together so that they meet and go flat but when you put them in a card they will have a 3D effect. So that's just a little quick technique just to get us started. So slit at the top, a slit at the bottom on the other one and you can put them into each other and it, it works with circles and other shapes as well. Um, you can just put them into each other and you have a flat surface and then you have a, a 3D effect. So, but my little hearts are going to come in useful for other things. Card base. All I've done, can you come in a little bit closer for me please, is I've drawn some hearts in pencil drawn round these little ones to just do a quick and easy Valentine's card. So I'm going to fill in the bits that I haven't drawn round just on the edges. Don't be afraid to just do part of the shape just to fill in the, the spaces. this bit and the side of this bit so basically you've got your heart shapes tumbling off the page and round the page now what you can do is you can put one on like I suggested and make it 3D and put it on the space so if I put my card this way up and use this flat one here it depends on where you position your um, shapes on your paper So you could actually stick the 3D into the shapes you've made and have just to give you markers. Or you can colour them in or you can cut out. I've got some here with my little scissors. So I've got double-sided um, paper here, so I could put the green side on one piece. I could have my pink heart as my 3D effect. And if I did another one, I could have the pink on here. Or you can doodle on them on your shapes get my sharpie you can 
two dots around the outside just to highlight them you can do them in make the pencil lines into darker color It's um, very unregular. And do some lines and just highlight your heart. So if you're not very arty and you want to do a Valentine's card, draw around a heart. I'm sure you can find a picture of one somewhere and cut it out or as in the previous episode you can make one by folding paper and doing a shape like we did on the felt ones so that that's some ideas you could do little hearts inside the big hearts And then put a different colour maybe in between. <laughs> I think our lid was going to come off for a minute. And maybe you could do some kisses around the hearts. So have a play with the idea of just drawing the hearts on the page going off the edges and just having a tumble of hearts as a nice simple Valentine's card and um, you could cross hatch this to make it into grids maybe with a different color coming in from a different angle So we've got the 3D heart, the basic simple card. Now we get onto the more complicated stuff. So I've cut this heart out. I need to do a couple more of these. So I'll be back in a few moments. Um, I don't have a heart punch. I've got circle punches and I've got oval punches, but I don't have a heart punch as yet, so I've had to freehand cut my heart. So that's why there was a short change of scene for you and a couple of minutes for me. Now, I want to make a smaller version of this. This I made absolutely years ago, and I can't remember um, who I learnt it from but it was a YouTube channel and apologies that I can't credit you because I can't remember who you were um, and I think it's a brilliant idea now this is made from hearts so I'll show you how what you need to do is get a pencil and roll one side of your heart right round to the B and then you glue it down and that gives you your curl this bit here your 3D effect so you need to do that on all your hearts and then glue that side down now you can choose which way on double sided paper which what you want to be showing so I'm going to do a couple one way and a couple the other way it doesn't take a lot just a little 
twirly bit. So I've done I'll do that that way and then the other one the other way. Just a bit of firm pressure. And it'll give you your your little um petal shape. I've got one of those, so this one I need to do the green side shows. And I'm just using a standard whip pencil, nothing fancy. And as you can see, it, you can see it's gradually taking shape. I mean, obviously you need to sort of, that's not glued into position yet. And I'm starting at the little bumpy on the side of the heart. And just rolling it through. The bumpy bit, yeah. <laughs> ventricle. Yeah. All right. I want one, two, three. I'm missing one. Where's the other one gone? Oh, you're hiding up there, are you? Sure, but on this paper, I've got a dull side and a shiny side, and I'm trying to make sure they're the, all the right way up, uh, same way facing, so to speak. What I've also done is cut out a rough circle shape um, to use as a base for gluing on. So, we need to glue our little edges. Drag it under. Hold for a second. Or two. Come on. Don't want to go past the halfway mark. Um, if you can help it with your, your loop. Um, that one looks like a little bud. Are right, you sticking now? Let's put something on you just to hold you down. And next one, please. If you have a, a glue that sticks a bit quicker, then go for it. Um, Art glitter glue is quite good for this, but I haven't got any of that, so I'm using my Kalau. for the card the more you have to hold it because it doesn't want to necessarily stay put but with a little bit of finagling it's it works You need eight hearts all together. You can vary the um, colours depending on what you project you want to, you know, the look you want to achieve. That's the word I'm looking for. The look I'm looking for. Swapsies. That one 
top of there. It's not a heavy tub this, it's just to hold it in place while the glue dries. You can always go back in and give it a little of extra boost of glue if it's pulling up. Or curl it round just and pencil a bit more. One in each hand. <laughs> My able assistant here is doing very well. Ripping the... Almost there. I think this is probably the most long windy bit apart from cutting them out. Um, but say if you have a punch or even a die cut for hearts. So what we need to do now on my little circle I've guesstimated the middle it doesn't matter because it's going to be on the back and it's just the base but just so that you've got an idea of where to put the point of your heart you can also do it so you put the points together and you need this curly bit down the side of the other heart so the underneath heart if you can see very well but you need just on the side so you have the petal showing and the points lined up um, that might need to curl in a little bit more but you can adjust them once they're stuck together so you're going to stick your first heart point to the little dot you've made. Now I find it easier to put a big blob of glue in the centre, something for it to anchor to, and then as you go round putting the glue onto the, now I need a plain one this time doing alternate and I'll just put a little double glue on the base of the one I've just put in. Now I'm going to use my pencil to hold him down. Put this next one in, position it. Now it will shift a little bit because obviously the glue is a bit slippery. So once again, I'm going to use my pencil. Now that one needs re-sticking. It's the card one. It's a bit. That one's okay. So I'm going to do alternate pattern. So I've done green up. Now I'm doing pink up. Again, you want a curly bit to the edge of the, the underneath heart, and points together. Hold it with my pencil. Now I need a plain one. It's a bit fiddly, but. You probably need about eight hands. Now I forgot to mention when I said curling up the sides, make sure if you're doing a double sided pattern that you curl the same side up each time. So pick the left hand or the right hand side, otherwise your pattern might not be how you planned it to be. That makes sense because you would have curled up the wrong side. So what's my next pattern? So it's green on top. Okay. I mean, if you've got plenty of time, you can do it one piece at a time and let it dry and then put the next piece on. Now 
and then it won't be quite so slippy. Stay, thank you. Glue on that edge. Get into a rhythm. As you can see there's a little bit of a gap so what you then do is adjust your pieces to splay out with the um, even gaps once you've got them all in you come in there a bit more come on down you go that's it Why are you holding the cat on my head? I'm trying to adjust the spacings here. And I've got a cat on my head. Sorry, this has not been <laughs> on the screen before, so I thought Gareth and Wiley was around. Dangling cat in the background. Last time I did it, I swear it was. <sighs> you come round here. You go round there. You go round there. You go there. Now don't worry about the centre because what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a disc over the top and it will hide a multitude of sins. So I'm going to let that percolate and do my next technique. So I'm just going to slide that along. When that's dry, I can put the, the next layer on. So the next one is a pinwheel. Pinwheels are fun. They use hearts. Now this one, I didn't do the creases as well as I should have done, and it's opening up a little bit, but that's fine. They can be squished down. Um, so I'm using 14 circles. Now my circles are, I believe, one and a half inch. Where's my ruler gone? Very dead. So, oh no, they're two inch circles. So that will get you a pinwheel of one, two, three, four inches across. Now my card bases are just big enough to house a pinwheel. You can put it in the centre or you can put it up higher, put your greeting underneath and then potentially let's get a, a card base where there's nothing on it. It's not quite the right colour match but it gets the idea. Um, and you can use the shoulder ribbon as a stem and maybe do yourself a couple of twiddly leaves 
you can use string or fibers of some sort. I happen to have this lovely, beautiful ball of, um, I'm not sure if it's wool or what it is, but it's synthetic nylon, but it's a lovely color and uh, quite useful, or string. I've got some green string here. So it depends on what look, whether you're going for a rustic look or a smooth look or whatever, but you can do your stems with various things. This is a bit of leftover wool from a hairband I recently made. So even like a black and white stem would look quite swish. So that's the idea. The smaller the circle, the smaller your pinwheel. So if you did one inch, then you'd only have a two inch pinwheel. I'm doing it big so that you can see what I'm up to. Um, to do it too tiny, you won't be able to see what I'm doing. Right, put my pin in my glue before it dries up on me. Now I've made a start in folding these um, and I'm going to make sure they're pretty well burnished. So I need to fold and it's the same sort of process. Um, of putting them on a circle base and just basically positioning them to the spacings that you'd like. I mean, this one's a bit more open and this one's a bit closed. Same, same idea, folded circle. Um, this has only got eight. This one's got 14. So you can choose the amount of petals you want for the look you want to go for, how, how spaced out you want it to be. You can do alternate petal colours, you can do the self same petal colours, you can do double sided paper so that you can see the inside is a different colour. So there's lots of options for these and an affinity of your imagination basically as to how you go about it or what what colorations you like and that sort of thing and size you could do a giant one and maybe hang it up as a sun catcher do it in a nice shiny material now why is that so yeah right. now, just gonna bone fold these make sure they're nice and flat you want a little bit of um, movement on it, so a bit sort of petalish. There you go. So once again, get your required amount of petals. Get your circle in the middle, and. Just build them up. But these, they need to be tucked inside each other. So you need to not glue the first one down so you can tuck the second one underneath it. a couple and show you so I'm going to just do that corner and I'm going to lay one on top of the other and then the next one on top of that one making sure you've got your, your D shapes facing the right direction and your spacing however you want it so you can splay it out more or tuck it in more depending on how you want it but make sure your edges are even at the bottom so keep going round next one 
and get them as even as you can going round. This one's easier to do it holding it and then you just put the base underneath to, to hold it together sort of thing. So, no, I don't want two together, thank you very much. I know you're friends, but, you know, we need to separate for this occasion. So you could just leave it like that and have that as a, a pattern. Um, but I'm going to keep going round and I'll be back to you in a moment when I've gone all the way round. Okay, so our heart flower is near enough dry. Our little yellow pinwheel is a little bit tacky, but it's good enough to glue. Now the final one, you have to make sure you tuck it under the first petal um, and then you can sort of position it how you like before you put your your topper and your base on so this is the base and it just holds everything in place so that it doesn't move around on you let's try taking the the um pin out the glue that might help might not okay um, and it's just a matter of putting your circle on and it just holds all the petals in place then we can turn it and we've got a nice clean center now with the center you can put a disc like this on and have it as a thing or you could put um, I don't know Maybe a little wooden heart in the centre. Not quite like that, actually. What do you think of the wooden heart? Is it small? It's a bit, yeah, it's not quite big enough, is it? Um, maybe a, a button. Uh, I'd like to try the other basing. I don't know with a wooden heart on top of it. Other base with a wooden heart on top? Yeah. yeah. I'll make an artist out of him yet. That looks like a sunflower almost. Are we liking that? I mean, you can play around, play around, and get to. Have, oh, I like that actually. Yeah. Got shark in your play. Got a little money somehow. Yeah. Technician available for hire. We've stuck that one on, and then the tricky bit is to get this heart in the middle. And then you've got to make sure. Oh, I've had another idea. What if we do the hearts? Oh, for this catalanche. Table. Yeah, not quite yet. So if we did the hearts, maybe in a little like that. I was going to say I that's going to get a bit OTT, but they have one on there. I think maybe if they faced inwards. That might look better, yeah. Yeah, that's better. Face them inwards. So, that's the effect. You can play play around with, you know, your, your positionings and what have you. Um, right, so just finalize this one. I'm just gonna put a disc over the top and once again, you can dress it up um, but it's basically just to hold the bits in place. I've just literally... Now this is a bit trickier to hold because it's only got the up bits to stick to. That makes sense. The rolled bits. The ridges, that's the one. That's the word. Up bits. Oh. So you have your 
your magic heart which can be 3d now you can glue that either one section on the page or both sections on the page if you do it one section then you've got yeah so imagine that's so you can all three pieces can come up or you do it two and then you've got the two pieces coming up you've got your hearts where you curl up one side of the edge and you've got your pinwheels and you can decorate how you like so thanks for watching much love and i'll see you in the next one bye bye